Hey Bald Ones, I'm Lucy and this is Pussy Powered. In today's video, we're talking about the dark side of masturbation. This is a question that I hear quite often. How do I know if I'm masturbating too much? Am I masturbating for the right reasons? And really outside of an actual addiction that is taking you away from the things that you need to be doing in your life, from taking care of your responsibilities to taking greater care of yourself, I don't personally have a problem with masturbating as much as you want. However, outside of what would technically be considered an addiction, there is also a dark side to masturbating masturbation, depending on how you are doing it, or more like the energy behind it, the intention behind it. There are two key questions I would encourage you to ask yourself. The first is, does masturbation energize you or does it deplete you? It's not just about whether you have an orgasm or not. So much of this has to do with the energetics behind it, the intention going into it, the energy building up throughout it, and what's happening in a deeper level at the point of your release. I hear from many women that when they choose to self-pleasure with the intention intention of connecting with their bodies, of being present with the energy in their bodies, in their yoni, in their pussy, as opposed to masturbating for the sole purpose of having an orgasm as quickly as possible, they usually not only experience a richer, fuller, more expansive, more satisfying orgasm when they do come, but they also tend to have a lot more energy throughout the day. Now, this is nothing against having a short masturbation session or a short self-pleasure ritual, especially if you're crunched for time and that's the best that you can do. But if you have a self-pleasure ritual and you find that you are doing the short version of it more often than not, I encourage you to ask yourself why and how can you carve out more time so you can go deeper in your self-pleasure practice and allow your body to communicate with you what else it may need besides a quick orgasm. The second question to explore, does masturbation add to your life or take away from it? Especially if masturbation is keeping you from being intimate with a partner who wants to be intimate with you, which in that scenario, there is often some form of addiction to porn. Now, as I've shared in a previous video, porn can be a great resource, a great tool for not only your self-pleasure practice but your relationship. However, if you're using it as, a, as an escape, as a way out to not have to do the work in your relationship and that relationship is ultimately what you really want, it's what your heart wants, then it is plain and simple, out of integrity for you to use porn as a scapegoat for not putting in the work, exercising the vulnerability and courage required to have the connection, the intimacy, and the passion that you really want in your relationship. And really when it comes to porn, to masturbation, to fantasizing, it's less about the thing itself and more about what's happening on a deeper level. And this is why I don't talk about those things in a very black and white way. There's a lot of nuance, a lot of variables, a lot to take into consideration. The biggest thing is to be able to be radically honest. Be fucking honest with yourself. What do you want? Is this helping you get what you want? And on that note, there is something to be said about coping mechanisms. I know that they get a bad rap, like, oh, we're just, we're just coping. We're coping with shit. We're not actually dealing with shit. But the truth is this, you're not ready to deal with everything all at once. So as you need to cope with it. And then when you're ready, when you're ready to move beyond those coping mechanisms and begin to heal whatever is happening beneath the surface, then you can do that. Especially once your body, your nervous system, your unconscious mind feels safe enough to begin exploring that level of healing, which is not something that you can force or rush. And if masturbation happens to be one of those coping mechanisms that's helping you take the edge off enough until your body gets to a place of deeper safety, then maybe it's something that you should continue to Doing. And when you're ready, you can use that same practice. You can use the, the act of masturbation, of self-pleasure in a way that is deeply healing. And then it's just a matter of tweaking how you go about it, how you build up the energy, which I share in my course, Come As You Are. So if you are at a point where you're ready to explore the healing power of self-pleasure, then I encourage you to check that out at comeasyouarecourse.com. Ultimately, remember that masturbation is a deeply intimate experience, whether you're having that experience by yourself or you're sharing that experience with a lover. And there are countless different ways to self-pleasure, countless experiences to be had within just masturbation. 
it. So if you have been masturbating and you have felt a darkness around it, you felt a heaviness around it, then I encourage you to not give up on the practice. Simply learn new tools, new, new things that you can do within your masturbation practice that will shift your entire experience and even elevate your consciousness and potentially change your life. All right, wild ones, that's it for today. A little bit about the dark side of masturbation. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, share with some friends, and subscribe for more on sexual empowerment and healing for women and people with vulvas. And again, to explore more of the potential within this powerful sacred practice of self-pleasure, check out my course, Come As You Are at comeasyouarecourse.com or click on the link down here in the description of this video. In the meantime, here's to your pleasure and your awakening for a pussy-powered life.